In this video, I'm going to use NT Lite to create Windows 7 January 2020 media refresh. So this is going to have all the drivers necessary for installation on the last supported Dell, which is the Optiplex 7040. So the first thing we need is either a Dell Windows 7 reinstallation DVD or we can download the, the Windows 7 Professional Skylake ISO. So we're going to mount the DVD by sticking in the drive or mount the ISO and copy its contents. Okay, so the next thing we need is storage controller drivers and USB 3.0 drivers. And we need to put these in the boot.wim. And this is so you can actually boot from the USB flash drive in a USB 3 port. So we're basically going to get all the 64-bit drivers from these two files and just create a single folder called boot drivers. So that's the USB 3 drivers and this is the storage controller drivers. And I've listed the main standalone updates for Windows 7. So you should now download all of these and also Internet Explorer 11. So put them all in a folder called updates. And also in the list is the Gigabyte Windows USB 2 utility. Now this is downloaded just because it's the easiest way to get these two additional hotfixes. So we want to just copy these two 64-bit hotfixes into the updates folder. And finally, for the Dell business models with Windows 7 support, such as the Optiplex, Latitude, Precision and XPS models, we get the Windows 7 driver pack. So in this case, we're going to demonstrate using an Optiplex 7040. And we need to select Windows 7 as the operating system, Windows 7 64-bit, and then systems management, and then we get this Dell command. Windows 7 driver pack. So we're going to right click this driver pack and extract its contents using 7-zip. And we're interested in the 64-bit drivers. So you can rename this folder if you want. Okay, so let's now go ahead and install NT Lite. Now, in this video, I'm just going to use the free version. However, if you want some of the more advanced features, you're going to need a license. And if you're going to use it for business, you also need a license. Okay, so we're going to go to add and then image directory and then select the folder you copied the Windows 7 setup files to. Now we're going to select the second index of the boot up WIM and we're going to go to drivers on the left hand side and we're going to add the boot drivers. So this is basically going to allow it to boot using a USB 3 port. Once we've added these we'll go to apply and then we'll select process. Now I've sped the recording up substantially, it takes a while to mount the WIM to copy the drivers to the mounted folder and then to commit the changes basically as it's the most commonly used edition of Windows 7 because Windows 10 Pro and Windows 8.1 Pro had downgrade rights to this edition. Okay, so we're going to go to updates and we're going to just drag and drop all the updates across. Now, if you're using the Dell Windows 7 Professional Skylake Reinstallation ISO, it's already got some updates, so some of these will be rejected. If you're using the reinstallation DVD, then they'll all be taken because it's older. Next, we're going to go to drivers and copy the 64-bit drivers from the extracted Dell package. And we're also going to go to post setup and we're going to add the .NET framework here and we're going to add the slash u 
So unfortunately we can't slipstream this so we just set up for an unattended setup at the end of the Windows 7 installation. I'm going to select create ISO before selecting process and then I'll need to save the ISO to a file and give it a label. So now I'll select process and it'll go ahead and slipstream the updates and then slipstream the drivers then process the unattended setup of the Microsoft.NET framework and then go ahead and create the ISO and it will take some time to do this I've sped up the recording 64 fold here okay so some of you will have downloaded the Dell Windows 7 Professional Skylake reinstallation ISO but actually want Dell Windows 7 Home Premium or Ultimate we can easily convert the folder to this basically we just need to edit two files one of them is the ei.cfg where we just changed the edition and the next one is the file that applies the OEM system locked pre-installation we just need to change the product key to the OEM system locked pre-installation key of the correct edition. Okay, so on the written page of this guide, you'll get the OEM system locked pre-installation key that you need. And let's open it with Notepad++. And we're just going to replace it. And then save. and update the ei.cfg okay so that's the installation media configured for home premium now and the home premium edition is severely out of date because Dell haven't updated it since Microsoft released service pack 1 and we only updated professional also so we'll just need to follow the exact same procedure to update the home edition so this other edition will accept all the updates and we'll need all the same drivers as before. And also post setup we can add the Microsoft.NET framework. And then we would go ahead and process. So this installed at when would have the professional and home premium index updated, but the Home premium index would be the one selected during installation. So I've made the second ISO, but I want to install Windows 7 Pro on the Optiflex 7040 because it's licensed for Windows 10 Pro and has downgrade rights to Windows 7 Pro. So let's insert my USB flash drive, load the ISO. And if you're installing Windows 7 64-bit and you're using a UEFI BIOS, you're going to want to use the GPT partition scheme. If you're using 32-bit Windows 7 or an older computer with just a legacy BIOS, you're going to need to use the MBR partition scheme. Because the install.wim exceeds 4 gigabytes, the file system is going to be locked to NTFS in all cases and Windows 7 doesn't support secure boot so we don't need to worry about the FAT32 restriction for the file system in order for the bootable USB to pass secure boot. Okay so you'll now have the bootable USB and it will warn you about secure boot so we just select close and close now we're going to move over to the Dell Optiplex 7040. So let's power it up and press F2 to enter the UEFI BIOS setup. And we're going to want to disable Secure Boot. And we want to enable Legacy ROMs. So the boot sequence is going to be UEFI. And in this system, we're going to perform Dell Data Wipe. So most Windows 7 systems don't have Dell Data Wipe. 
as it's a newer feature. But we'll select continue and we'll securely erase the solid state drive. So we just want to make sure there's nothing on the solid state drive. And now we're going to power up the Dell and press F12 to get to the boot menu. So under UFI boot, we can select the SanDisk bootable USB and then the Windows 7 setup will begin to load files and we'll see starting Windows for quite some time as well. Then we'll be taken to language, so I'm going to select English and I'm going to change to the United Kingdom and then select install now. I'll accept the license agreement, select next, I'll select custom and I've already deleted all partitions because I performed a secure wipe but you would go to each partition and delete it until you had unallocated space like I did. It's advisable to remove the USB flash drive when it begins to count down for the restart. That will save it booting back to the USB flash drive instead of booting from the drive. So here when we see completing installation, we'll actually see the screen refresh and we'll get full resolution because we've slipstreamed on the drivers, including the graphics driver. Okay, so it'll restart and prepare for the first time setup. And then we'll need to input our username and password. And here I'll select ask me later. And it's already set to UK time because I'm using UK regional settings. So at the end of the install, you're going to need to accept the license agreement for Microsoft.NET Framework. So it's not a complete silent and unattended install here. Perhaps you need to add additional commands apart from the slash u. Okay, so if we right click computer and select properties, we'll see that we've got Dell Windows 7 Pro and OEM system locked pre-installations applied. So it's got product ID containing OEM 899. If we go to device manager, we see that we've got all the drivers installed and that's because they've all been slipstreamed into the installation media. Next, if we go to start and computer and install or change a program, we can go to view installed updates. Now there's going to be quite a lot here because Dell slipstreamed quite a lot into Windows 7 Professional before Microsoft released the convenience roll-up. So if you started out with the Dell Windows 7 reinstallation DVD or you're using another edition then you won't see all these additional updates but they're incorporated in the convenience roll-up so you don't need to worry about missing them. You also won't see them if you used uh, Microsoft 2011 ISO to start with. 